Mike the Vegas Guy here, and today I am bringing you to the Palms Hotel and Casino for both their dinner, weeknight regular dinner buffet, as well as their brunch buffet that they offer seven days a week, mimosas and bottomless crab legs, not the lobster buffet that you see advertised on the marquee there. I will go to the lobster buffet when this channel reaches 1,000 subscribers. Thousands of you are watching my buffet reviews and my Vegas show reviews, but I only have a few hundred hundred subscribers right now. So hit that subscribe button. Let me know that you're out there. And when I hit 1000, I will spend the money on the lobster buffet. But for right now, I'm going to show you, like I always do, how to find the buffet when you walk in the door of the palms. It is a straight shot from these front doors as you go in. If that is, you were able to walk through the casino pit and the bar that's there. That's the, uh, the bar with the big shark in it. It's called the Unknown Bar. I don't like to film through the casino pit there, but this is the other angle. That's the front door there. If you just spin around on the other side of that bar, walk through these slot machines, it is a straight shot from the front door. The All You Can Eat, A-Y-C-E, Ace Buffet here at the Palms. Now I'm starting off with the dinner buffet. I came on a Sunday evening. I actually came earlier in that day for brunch. I thought I would catch the tail end of brunch. I learned the hard way that they do clear out the entire buffet. They kick everyone out between brunch and dinner. So I waited around and got in at the beginning of the dinner instead. Stick around for the second half of this video. I will show you what the brunch looks like. I was a little disappointed, I'm gonna just come right out with it, with the dinner buffet. You know I don't like uh, snack options when it comes to a buffet, and this dinner buffet seemed to have a lot more snack type items and hors d'oeuvres. This is the vegan section, very popular. This is one of the few buffets that has a designated vegan section. The food is all high quality, great stuff. Again, to me, this is sort of a snack food. I did have a little plate here of hummus and baba ganoush and tabbouleh salad with the pita chips. Those pita chips were really good. They were fried. They were really light, crispy. I really enjoyed them a lot. I did have some of the tofu there. It was a little unimpressive. But uh, I don't come to a buffet to snack. So this was a good little starter. But let's get into the rest of the buffet. I'll show you here. This was, here's, I'm getting my uh, big gripe out of the way real fast here. This is usually the Asian section. They did have uh, fried rice there and other items. This section in the middle that usually has entrees, those are jalapeno poppers. And on the other side, onion rings. These onion rings and jalapeno poppers. And uh, you'll notice here the onion rings are labeled as the chef's special for the evening. That's right, onion rings, chef special, the chef's specialty item there. Right next to the, uh, they had pork buns in these steamer baskets and really great shrimp cocktail. So they had shrimp cocktail that was peeled for you. I always give high marks for shrimp that you do not have to peel yourself. The quality of everything at this buffet was really good, really high end. It's a clean buffet. The service is spectacular. I just really was not impressed with the selection of the dinner buffet here. There was pizza, we had these little individual ramen servings. Here's my plate. I had the chef special, I had the onion rings, and some, uh, but look, it's all, it's all appetizers. Shrimp cocktail, the stromboli, uh, a little piece of fish there. The food was great, but it's just an interesting selection, to say the least. They had macaroni and cheese, mashed potatoes, baked chicken here, some greens, pretty standard dinner fare, nothing totally out of the ordinary. And it's just slightly odd juxtaposed with how great the ambiance and the quality is. It feels like a really high-end buffet. And then you walk around and kind of think, gee, these are kind of basic food items. Uh, it does get better. It gets better here. Um, this is the salad bar. You know I love a good salad bar. I give high marks for this salad bar. They had a great selection of pre-mixed salads as well as the ingredients to make something from scratch. They had these wedge salads pre-made in little bowls. You don't see that often. So lots of great salad options um, and even more of these like pasta salads and pre-made um, bean salad, little every kind of salad. So I was really happy with that. Around the corner here is the soup selection. They had a minestrone soup, a tortilla soup, a broccoli cheddar soup. 
I did not sample any of the soups, but they looked good. Again, I was uh, I was here cheating on my keto diet. Uh, I had to pick and choose. I was still trying to be good, but I did make myself a nice salad, and I did try the uh, ramen there. It was, uh, eh, the ramen was just fine. It wasn't to die for. The salad, they had really great bacon bits. They had like actual homemade fresh bacon bits. A lot of the ingredients feel really fresh and made on premises. So it's it's a high quality buffet in that regard. They had two carving stations here. They had this smoke section, which was all smoked meats. This was actually a pork shoulder I got. They had brisket, I didn't try the brisket. Not everyone has pork shoulder uh, when you go to a carving station. So I, I wanted to try that. And of course they had cornbread and other sides here. And over here is green bean casserole. And it was clearly made completely from scratch. The actual cream of mushroom soup used in it, you could tell it was homemade. The mushrooms tasted incredible. So that was a, a win there. This is the other carving station, the standard carving station. They had sirloin here. And what was really nice, you can see here, the chef will throw it on the grill for you. They keep it rare on the carving station. If you want it made to order, they will toss it on the flame for you and cook it to order, which is a really nice touch that they offer that here. So here's my plate. I got the smoked uh, pork shoulder, the sirloin, got some mashed potatoes. That green bean casserole was excellent. And for those wondering, I am drinking a Diet Coke here. They have Coke products, which is rare for the strip. And they even gave me a choice between Coke Zero or Diet Coke. So I appreciated that. Here's the dessert section. I got there right at, at five o'clock when they started dinner. So no one had touched the desserts yet when I uh, came to film it. Practically no one. You'll see like one or two scoops taken out of here, but they have gelato. They have lots of great single serving slices of pie and uh, other desserts. Look at the toppings on the ice cream, completely untouched, immaculate. You rarely get to see that at a buffet. And they had cobbler. They had this cherry cake thing. And here's the best part. They have Dole Whip, pineapple Dole Whip, the real deal, along with vanilla soft serve. I was cheating on my diet, so I couldn't resist. I had some of the peach cobbler with the vanilla soft serve. It was, it was incredibly sweet. That's what it was, but it was delicious. It was worth cheating on my diet for. And because I was cheating, I had to go back and get myself some pineapple Dole Whip, the real deal. I'm a Disney fan. If you go to Disneyland, you know uh, it's the best, and to get it in Vegas is great. Let's talk about the prices, the hours of operation here, and the difference between the brunch and the dinner. The brunch will be coming up on the other end of this. The brunch is $32.99. They do it every day of the week. It comes with crab legs and bottomless mimosas. The dinner that you just saw is $36.99. They only do it Saturdays through Tuesdays. And I've got to tell you, the brunch is better. It is a better deal. It's a lower price and you get so much more. Uh, wait till you see here. Uh, here are the prices, of course, for the lobster dinner. They also do prime rib and snow crab on Fridays only. Again, stay tuned to my channel and I'll bring you that too. But the main thing I want to talk about here is the brunch buffet. It is without a doubt the best deal you can get here at the Palms, and it is possibly the best brunch buffet in all of Las Vegas. I wish I could say the same about the dinner buffet. I'm gonna quickly show you my footage here. I came back a few days later. I actually got a comp uh, after I played that afternoon when I went to the dinner buffet. Look, they have sirloin steak next to the bacon, eggs, breakfast sausage, and these home fries. Most buffets charge less for their breakfast and brunch buffets because breakfast food is generally less expensive. It's more filling, they have a lot of carbs, and you don't get your money's worth as much with breakfast. This is not the case here at the Palms Buffet. The food is incredible. The selection is way better than that dinner buffet. Look at these crab legs. They have all you can eat crab legs, and the dinner buffet had all you can eat chef special onion rings. I mean, the, the comparison is just a no brainer here. They had all sorts of wonderful options. Here are these pancakes. They were fantastic steaming here. Next to, door to, uh, this is where they had the shrimp cocktail at the dinner buffet. And they still have the cocktail sauce and the lemons, but they actually have shrimp cocktail over at the salad bar. They had these eggs benedicts that were pre-made. 
They had, that was actually fajita chicken that was there. They still had the ramen next to chicken and waffles and more of these pre-made little uh, Eggs Benedict type uh, dishes there. They had breakfast pizza alongside the same regular pizza they had at dinner. Everything was good and the selection was just so much more impressive than the dinner buffet. I, I, I'm tempted to say it's night and day, um, but uh, you, know, you get the picture here. Look at my plate of breakfast food, different eggs, the bacon was incredible. There was this little thing on the side. I forget the name of that dish. It did not impress me as much. It was a hamburger patty over rice and uh, gravy on top. It was it was okay. Here's over at the salad bar where they've got serve yourself uh, cereals that are already in a bowl there. I don't know if I like that. You could also grab a box of something yourself. They had milk in a pitcher. They've got bagels. And they have everything you could possibly want to put on your bagel. Cream cheese, butter, and a um, little yogurt bar here, some parfaits. I'm going to cut over to the other side of the bar where they had fresh fruit. And here's all your other uh, bagel toppings, the salmon and the capers and tomatoes. And here's that shrimp cocktail. It's already peeled for you. They always uh, they get credit for some great shrimp cocktail. So for $33, this might be the best buffet in town as far as brunch goes when you're comparing it to those MGM resorts that only offer brunch at the same price point. But the dinner to charge $4 more and get so much less, I can't recommend the regular weeknight dinner buffet here at the Palms. The brunch though, I'm definitely going back in the future. Tell me in the comments if you've been to the Palms brunch or dinner buffet recently. Tell me if I'm crazy. Maybe I got a rough night on a Sunday evening and they put out onion rings and you've been there and the food has been better. Tell me. I I'd love to know. I'll probably go back and give them another try. Everything else about this buffet is spectacular. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you for tuning in. And until next time, I'm Mike the Vegas Guy.